All right, let's talk about the freedom trail. So this question is pretty long, and I'm gonna use my own definition to translate and try to explain. So whatever you, uh, what, what whatever you get, right, you should return the minimum number of steps to spell the or character in, in the keyword. So, uh, in the example, like you have two string, one is ring, the other one is key, and inside the ring, there is a uh, there are a bunch of character. So inside the key, you have to uh, pick the closest character in the string a string of ring and uh, find out like how many steps you will take is either clockwise or counterclockwise and after you pick the character you have to press a button which is another step so uh, whatever the character inside the ring you need to at least two two steps to press a button right so gd will be two characters you still have to press two times right so g uh, uh, the first character, first character is G, and you are super lucky to get the first G right over here, and you need to press the button, which is one, the uh one step for the G, and the second character is D, you need to rotate. So you don't know is clockwise is closest or counterclockwise closer. You have to try both, and then uh for this example, it's definitely the counterclockwise closest, right? You rotate, rotate on, I mean rotate left, right? Two times, one. Q, so D will be on the top, and then you press the button, then you know it's full, te technically it's full step, right? So, uh, using the same logic, so we need to build the, uh, uh, build a function, I mean, build the algorithm, algorithm, right? So I'm gonna use the map, and map is actually storing my ring uh, character, and also the index uh, corresponding with the uh, character. So G can be repeated, right? D can be repeated, right? But the, 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 but the thing is different is the index. The index D and index, index first D and index second D is different. So you have a set to store the index value. Character is the value. And I mean the key is the value. And also I have a 2D array, which is actually store the minimum number that you actually rotate, right? You can rotate clockwise or counterclockwise, right? This is how you actually need to memorize. And this should be super simple. I'm going to initialize my DD, right? So I have n represent ring, n represent key, and I'm going to initialize my DD to new in n by n. All right. Now I need to also initialize my map. And after I initialize my map, right? I need to actually um, initialize my hash stats, right? Hash stats. So for in i equal to zero i less than n i plus one, and then uh, map the put is absent. So this actually help me to um, to initial my hash set very, very quickly. So I'm gonna just say character c represent string dot charge add an i every character inside the map. I need to initial my hash set. And then for each hash set, I need to actually add the index, right? First G, which is zero, right? And then the last G, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, right? So G will have uh, zero and seven, all right? Later, I need to uh, initial my DT to negative one, which means, I mean, negative one is actually like there's, uh, I haven't moved anything, right? So for int array DT, dt and then erase the field d with negative one and then i'm going to call my helper function so I'm, my helper function is pretty similar with the uh constructor i mean not the constructor but you so you get it right um wait one more so i do have an index i'm going to call x in the x for the ring and the index uh, in the y for the key so i i'm going to store the number of steps they rotate they rotate right rotate on the clock and then i'm going to call this function and i'm going to call ring and then the beginning index is definitely zero and the key is also zero and don't forget you need to press a button so the number of time you press press a button is depending on the length of the key which is m right so i'm going to Plus n over here. So 
uh, whatever uh, you rotate, it all you always depend. You always depend on the y, right? If y, the index, uh, for the key, if y is actually is in equal to the key dot length, you return zero, okay? Because you already match, uh, your key, right? So this this is definitely easy. And also, if you already visit, so if if already the g, I mean, I mean, if you already the d and d, then you don't have to re uh. This is again, right? So if dp x dp x y is not equal to negative one, right? You return dp x y. And also now I need to know my neighbor, uh, my next character to be honest. So my next character for the um uh, for the character inside the string key. So I'm gonna say string integer and I, 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 I can say int just doesn't matter so next is actually depending on what De depending on my key first all right you always depending on my key not the ring so map that get map that get uh, key dot char at a y position right so always depending on my string and I also need to memorize um, I mean the verb to memorize my minimum so integer dot max value I'm going to initialize init to my max value, and um, now I do know like my next my next character inside the inside the current G. I mean, just for example, G right. This is going to be zero and seven, to be honest. But I need to make sure this is the, always the positive number. So I'm going to say in um, uh, X is I uh, mean sorry, not not X uh, should be one way is equal to the max the absolute uh next minus x so x represent the last the last index you rotate right and then and then next represent the current uh the current index you want to go over right so imagine you are at d right here right and then you want to uh rotate to g so this might be negative because uh you don't know like uh, you want to go on clock clock clockwise or counterclockwise right so uh this is one way one way is, uh, it doesn't matter if clockwise or counterclockwise because you are already absolute, right? But we uh, we need to find the other way. So one way is probably the clockwise, and then we can say um, the second way, uh, uh, not another way, which is uh, counterclockwise, right? So um, I would say that what uh, ring dot length minus one way. So this is actually give you another way, and you need to find the minimum value between the clockwise or counterclockwise, right? So I can say min. Uh, int that equal to mass on min one way and then another way right and later on I need to actually um, um, keep up, uh, keep searching on my uh, following character and then I will say min is actually equal to mass on min and I'm gonna say min and then also what that plus the next character which is my next step and then I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna pass in the ring and for the for the current index which is next and uh, the key and also y plus one. Uh, this is because we have to move on the next character inside the key and then the the uh, when we call this function uh, ring the next right and when when you are, when you are the next index and then the and then there's a folder for the next right this will be the last position. The last position you were in the ring, and then later on you will just store in your min into your dp. So dpxy is actually equal to min, and then you will just return min. So min, uh, min is pretty easy. Minimum, just find the minimum, right? Okay, I have a mistake. So, oh, this is max, sorry, hash max. Um, I'm trying again. Alright, I pass the test, but I want to make sure I have a better solution for this. So, which is what I want to um, reduce this. So, I'm going to say ring, uh, ring, uh, ring dot length minus one way and a comma, uh, one way. So, I'll find the, the smallest, the smallest step between the clockwise, clockwise or counterclockwise. And it should be the same. And I'm going to run the code. And this is super easy, right? 
So let's talk about the time and space complexity for this one. Space is pretty simple, like you actually need uh, the uh, n by n, right? Because you initialize n by n and then you store it security inside a map, so which is n by n. And then time is also the, uh, also the same, to be honest. I mean, for the worst case, n by n for sure. But you always increasing your y, right? So technically it's not n by n, but it's less than n by n, but I would say n by n for the worst case. And this is the quick note for this. So time is complexity and set space complexity, and I would say n and m are either represent a ring and key. Um, there are just no other things to talk about, so you just have to know like uh, the step. You you when you want to find a minimum, you you either uh you you need to include your current current step for the current character current character, right? And then you need to find the rest of it, and this will be pretty much the solution. And if you feel helpful, subscribe, like, respond it, and I will see you next time. Bye.